If redemption comes in the form of a stock price, then Facebook may have redeemed itself. Shares in the social networking website passed $38 for the first time since its public debut last May. Facebook has been on a roll since reporting stronger-than-expected earnings last week, but the recent rally wasn't enough to keep shares at record highs. They fell back about 2% and closed at $36.80. So we have a 12-month target price, and that's $37.00. Um, and really that accounts for um, some substantial growth as well as um, you know, considerable premiums to peers, which we think are deserved. Many investors had expected a lot at the initial public offering, but shares sold off by more than half in the first few months of trading. A lack of sound mobile advertising was to blame. But things have turned around of late. Mobile advertising revenue went from zero at the start of last year to $656 million, or 41 percent of total ad revenue, in the April to June quarter this year. But Kessler cautions the company's true valuation is still in question. Look, I mean, the stock has done very well, but it's trading at a premium valuation. It's one of the reasons we have a hold opinion on the stock at this point, and any kind of misstep or misperception even uh, could, uh, could knock the shares down, we think. The question now is, will investors continue to like Facebook stock, or will they simply sell off if the good news fades? Warren Levinson, Associated Press.